Hey y'all, it's Malik and Austin, and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today I have a word for y'all, and it's from Ephesians, if you guys will go ahead and flip to Ephesians 5 with me. And so today's word is just called this, how you live matters. And I honestly think that's such a wake-up call, because a lot of people, they define themselves off of their actions, what they do, and that's really something that God's been kind of like working on my heart about and he says I don't identify you through your actions I identify you who you are and there's another um, verse in the Bible that says whatever's in your heart comes out of your mouth and so I think honestly you can look at people's fruit of their life and define who they are by what they're producing what kind of life that they're living and so with that being said I was reading through Ephesians the other night and in Ephesians 5 15 through 16 I'm going to read all the verses so that you can kind of get the backstory but I'm going to start from verse 15 here's what it says so be very careful how you live not being like those with no understanding okay so first off right off the bat it says be careful how you live and I honestly think that's so important because it's saw it's saying be, it's not saying be careful on the words you say or the actions you do but how you live your life every single detail is how you live your life how you um, are putting yourself out there how are you are reflecting like, what kind of person you are so it's saying be careful how you live and then it goes on to say don't be like the people around you that have no understanding so I want to pick back up verse in the verse 15 here's what it says but instead live honorably with true wisdom for we are living in evil times take full advantage of every day as you spend your life for his purposes and then it continues to say in verse 17 and don't live foolishly for then you will have discernment to fully understand god's will okay so right there there's so much truth in those verses i love how it's saying but instead live with honor and i think of this quote that i remember in my like fifth grade math class one of my teachers on had on the back of the wall and it said who you are in private is who you really are so what that means is the public version of yourself the one whenever you're out in front of everybody that's not the real version of you the real version of you is who you are in private what are you doing in your private time and i honestly think that's um kind of the heart behind like any person that preaches any person that's up on the worship um stage you know whenever they're they come out in public and they preach a message or they sing a worship set that's great but who they are in private really defines who they are and i've really been kind of like to, uh, like talking to God about like I'm not defined because I preached people that's not who I am because I'm doing those works who I am really is who I am whenever I'm in the prayer room by myself or whenever I'm reading my Bible by myself and so I like how it's saying to live in God's wisdom be careful how you live and it says live honorably and then it says have true wisdom and I think that's honestly so important because a lot of times we're faced with all of these truths that we think are true um, by the world's um, defining definement of truth but really the real truth on how we're supposed to live is right here in the Bible a lot of times the world will try to tell us if you do this you're living right if you do this you're living right but honestly the world's standards have just really changed and we have to ground ourselves in what the Bible says about us more than anything else and then it keeps on going to say we're living in evil times and that's pretty much true and it says take full advantage of every day as you spend your life for his purpose and I love that because it's saying right a lot of people think you know I'm gonna start living more for God tomorrow or you know I'm on Sundays I'm gonna like be on fire for God but not during the week but it's saying no I want you to take full advantage of every single day because we are living in evil times and you have to go after your purpose that he's giving you and so I think of um as I was kind of going over this word but I was going to share one thing that I really kind of like thought back was this testimony something that happened to me um I remember whenever God told me to like start this ministry that I had um started a couple months ago in my town or whatever it's for like locally people um I remember I was like God I don't know if I can do this because there's so much darkness and like my generation where I live and I feel like there's not any light like how could I start something and he was like no no no, I'm calling you to be the light and I think a lot of times that's so true in a lot of our situations we get like defined by there's so much darkness God there is no light but God's saying no 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 you aren't defined by the people you're around. You are the light in your situation. I put you in dark places so you can be the light. And I honestly think a lot of times we are drawn to light. We try to go to the places where it's already lit up, where people are already on fire for God. But honestly, God's saying, I want you to take the things that you're getting from the light and bring them to the darkness because, um, 
That's what God's calling us to do. And another thing is we cannot be moved by other people's actions. If other people are dwelling in the dark, we can't be influenced by that. I think a lot of times as a teenager, whenever other people are going out and sinning and doing all these wrong things, we're almost like drawn to want to do that as well to impress certain people but God's saying don't be moved by other people's wrong actions if you're living in the light you are called to lead by example and that also means that our obedience to God our obedience to step out and do what he's called us to do empowers other people I know whenever I started this kind of all personal testimony but whenever I started this um ministry thing or whatever I was like God I'm like really scared or whatever but he was like hey I remember he told me so many times he said your obedience to me right now is empowering other people that you don't even see and so every single every single time that God was like putting it sort of saying I want you to do this or this I never said no because I was like God I know that your will is so much higher than mine and even though the situation might be hard even though it might be embarrassing in the moment um, I know that your will is higher than mine and I will do anything you ask me to do. So continually, I had to say no to my flesh and yes to my spirit. And that's the reason I am where I am today because I just kept on saying yes to whatever God was telling me to do. And so I think honestly, there's a quote in the Bible and it says, um, the Christians, the preachers, they're held to a higher standard. And honestly, I think that's a call for us to simply live right. You know, there's so many people that are living in the darkness that are watching you. They're watching how you live your life. Whether you are aware of it or not, there's so many people watching how you live your life. And that is why it's so important for us to live right. It's a call. about In these verses, it's a call for us to live right. And so another verse, actually, in Ephesians, it's in Ephesians 5, 1. It says, be imitators of God in everything you do, for then you will represent your father as his beloved sons and daughters. And you can tell I've honestly been dwelling right here in Ephesians because it's so important. And I love how it's saying, you are a representation of who God is. You are the hands and feet of Jesus Christ. So what that's saying is you have to live right to reflect Jesus. You can't say, I'm a Christian and post all this stuff and go do all of these other sinful acts you have to reflect him and it's saying be imitators of God in every single aspect of your life and so that means not doing half effort things in everything you do like I used to be the kind of person that was like I'm not gonna make my bed in the morning and stuff like that but I have just kind of like realized I have to do full effort in everything I do because that's like training my heart you know and that verse keeps on going to say, for then you represent your father because we are his beloved sons and daughters. And it's saying, you're my son, you're my daughter, so now represent me well, child. And I love that. And then um, verse 2 in verse Ephesians 5, 2, it says, continue to walk, surrender to the extravagant love of Christ. For he surrendered his life as a sacrifice for us. And I honestly think that is like the cherry on top of this whole um, word. That's kind of what I want to end it on. I love how it was saying, continue to walk, surrender to my plan. That's so powerful because God's not saying, I want you to surrender one thing one day. Like, I, I, I don't want you to give up your sin and then just for one day. I want you to continually surrender to me every single day. Because whatever you're surrendering those things, then I can begin to work within you. That makes me think of um, John 12, 25, how it's saying a seed can never be, John 12, 23, sorry. It says a seed can never be anything more than a seed unless it drops to the ground and dies because then it can sprout something new, new life, new growth. And I think that's so powerful because honestly, I love how Jesus set that up because that's a representation of what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to die to our flesh so he can make something new in the spirit. And I think that's so powerful. How I was saying, continue to walk, surrender to the love of Christ. And so I just kind of want to say um, the topic of this video one more time to end it out. How we live matters. How we reflect Jesus matters in every single thing that we do in our life. I hope this video encouraged you guys. Share it with a friend and subscribe down below. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys later.